Hello everybody and welcome to this uh, episode of our application, CRUD application using Laravel and React. So in the last episode we did add a new contact. So just remove the what we had before here, this were close. Remove it from your file web web page P. Now if we refresh the page, we are going to see our form that's why i had uh, this small error so now we can add any contacts as before you know i click submit and we go back to our uh, home page next we are going to add the links to, to make the user updates and delete a contact. So I am going to just uh, copy this one and paste it here. So this one is going to, uh, first we are going to add the, up, the updates functionality. And then next we are going to add the delete functionality. So here I will change this to updates and here i will make it warning and next here for the link it will take us as we said before we are i'm going to use template string i think that template string is not working here i will try to get it from the charm app in sublime text because I don't I don't use sublime text I used I always use VS code but I don't know exactly shortcuts here so we used template string just to add just to add the routes that will take us to the edit form and edit form will receive the id of the contacts we will, we used contact id we have already have add contacts here and we add edit here now that we have this one it will take us as as i said to the edit form i don't know what went wrong here think that something wrong with what is wrong here not found exception what was wrong i will try i don't know but for uh, the before in the laravel 5 and laravel 5.8 we get the we use this I used this, uh, this routes to get the React routes, but I don't know what, uh, what is the problem in this uh, new one. I think that something is wrong with, uh, not something, but uh, I think they, they did uh, update something that make this routes not working. I will try to find the solution. If not, we are going to add routes here and make it move to the add if we are in the ads we can click on an icon or something to go back to the home anyway if i click if i click here in updates i am in the updates components as you see here now I don't know why this uh, this button is not working as expected. I think that I give it the class which is the warning the PTN small. I will remove this one, the column three. That's why, and also, or I will let the margin. Now let's see what it will give us. So now it's better. It's better if I click here, I, uh, I get components 
it is component. So the contents here will be the same as add components, just we are going to change some some things, basic things. I will remove this one and add this one. I will change this, this from edit, uh, from add to edit. Same thing here. I think that uh, I forget to change this one, add component to add contacts. And here also, I will ch change it to edit contact. Now, as I said before, we will have the same thing. So we will have the, the form that include the input fields and also we will have the as uh, as the we uh, as we saw in the add components we will have the same thing the functions name tell and these functions just we will have here in the components components did mount we will get the contacts that we want to update and we will first get the id we will get it from props match params and id so we will get this id when i click on update we will get this id now we have the id next we will uh, call the function get because we are just uh, as I said we are we will just get another uh, another we will call just uh, the API to get the contact that we want to, to update I will get I will uh, put the link and here the ID that's same thing that we added here as you see for, for to get the contact that we want to update we have this url here we have the contacts and the id and the edits that's why here we have the contacts the id and i will add here edits this is the prefix uh, related to the routes api you can change it if you want in the routes provider Next, we will get the response as usual. And after we get the response, we will set the state. We will set the state. And state name will be the response, data, and name. We will get name from the response because the response, as we saw here in the edit, it will return the contacts and the contact contains all the information name and phone same thing here we will have phone and that's all and if we have any error here we will catch the error something went wrong we will just console log the error console log the error like this console log error that's I think that this is all for this we will keep the same thing handle input change and here handle input uh, telephone change now here for the for the submit we will change it because we will update we will say put axios put and we will use the same thing as here just we will change the we will change the link from this one just you will change the link from this one to this one and i will put this one here just close this field as i said here we will change it to updates updates i don't want to misspell any word as i said we have the api 
e-contacts and we can get the ID with same uh, same variable we use the same variable to get the ID we send it to the updates here and we send with it the new the new values that the user enter into the form the updates form and after that we just clear the form and we send the user back to home that's all so let's try to see what will what what we will get so i will go back to home here uh, let's see if we can update this one when i click on update nothing happened here i think that there is an error in the edits not found exception there is an error in the there is an error here api contacts i will try to see here in the where is the api fall file so we have contacts contacts edits and the id and edits so what is wrong not found http exception it means that there is a route that does not exist so we have here api contact what is wrong I don't know what is wrong. Contacts. Ah, I forget. This is not existing. Just we have here. No. We have contacts ID and edits. So we have contacts ID and edits. So why it tells us that we don't have this route? Here the same thing. We have uh, API contact ID and updates. I think that something is wrong. Edits. I will try to find where is the error and I will come back again. So the error is simple, just I forget to add a slash here and same thing here in the API. I forget to add, I must add the slash. So that was. But what that was the error so just simple error sometimes I don't I must be careful I will try to update this one I have Samantha if I try to change to Samantha black or something we are going to add phone I click submit now I have Samantha black and same thing here I can change here this one james and change the phone click updates and the phone is changing so what's uh, we have to do next is to add the link or the, the, the delete functionality we are going to add that in the next episode